and just down the road, you'll find the Bellmead Plantation. That's where we find Cherie Kelly. It's great to have you with us. Thank you. We are making a really neat recipe today. Um, they're, um, we're combining some fresh things and a pizza crust and making appetizers. Yes. We're going to start with our pizza crust. And you, of course, can buy a pizza crust pre-made mm -hmm. and just roll it out. This one was a handmade one, a uh, crust that I did at home, and then par-baked it. So you're just going to bake it for just about eight minutes in the oven to give it a little bit of strength. Okay. And then we're going to add to this our mozzarella cheese, which is like a cup of mozzarella cheese, um, to start this pizza off. Or not really it a pizza. Great. It's a it's an We're calling them tomato basil bites. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which sounds yummy. And then to that, we're going to add our tomatoes. And, and you're using Roma tomatoes today? These are Roma tomatoes. I would love to say that I grew these, but I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, um, yours will come in soon, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, we You've do. You've got a garden over there at the plantation, we don't you? We do. We have a beautiful kitchen garden and, and herb garden, and our uh, basil came from our kitchen garden nice. at Bell Mead. So, um, then you're going to mix one cup of mozzarella okay, cheese there. Put that in there. And then we're going to add to that our Parmesan cheese. Okay. Our two thirds cup of mayonnaise. Look at this and nifty just container that. here. Watch yes. this. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that gets it all out so you don't have to scrape. Exactly. Okay. Great to measure anything hard to get out of a measuring cup. Okay. All right. And you've got a great trick for garlic. I've never heard of this before if you've got a garlic press. Yes. And know that this is a um, one clove. When people buy garlic, they buy it in a bulb right. or grow it. So you're not putting a whole bulb or you would be really having a lot of garlic there. So, so what you've done is you put the whole clove in with just one clove the skin. With the skin and then you just press. And you can just wipe that off. Tell you what, hold it over right here. Oh, you got it? Okay. That works. Cool. And then mix that in, and then you're um, <laughs> very easy. You just take the peeling right out of here, and you don't even have to so you touch don't have it. To peel it and get it on your hands. It's, yes, nice. no garlic on your That's hands. That's a terrific trick. It is. All right. And All you right. also have another nifty gadget you were using to, uh, yes. to chop up this we're basil. We're going to make. This is a. These are just called um, kitchen shears or, or herb shears actually because mm -hmm. it will cut. It's like six blades all at one time, That's slicing so cool. up your basil. And that smells so good. Yes, it does. We're going to add our basil in. Okay. And then just a little added uh, Italian seasoning. Okay. This is almost like the, the kind of stuff you put in the middle of lasagna or whatever. It's yeah, got a real Italian it flavor to it. But it, that, that extra cheesy mixture with the two cheeses is great. And then an easy way to add this to our crust. I'll let you do that. Okay, great. <laughs> it's just scoop it over just plop it and on. And then huh? we'll spread it out over the top of the tomatoes. And how long will you bake this? About 20 minutes at 375. Cool. And then um, you will slice it in squares and then serve it. And you can serve it warm or you can actually serve it cool. It's a really, it's even, even good um, cool. That but sounds yummy. You have some new wines at, over at the uh, winery at Bellmead Plantation, we don't you? We do. We actually do. And I will grab those. Um, this is our new Cabernet. We have a new Syrah. And our Merlot, which we love sharing with everyone. What would um, go well with this appetizer? Actually, the wine that, we would, that I would pair with this one is our Carriage House White. Um, the Carriage House White goes very nicely with the tomatoes, the acid that's in the tomatoes and that's in the in the mayonnaise mixture. So right. that would be the one I would prefer. Thank you so much for being with us today. They Thank have free you. tastings over there every day. I think you'd really enjoy it. This is recipe number 5195. It's online now in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. For more information on the wine tastings, we're going to link you to bellmeadplantation.com.